Alex Goff here from RugbyMag.com with a barn burner of a match from April 14's D1A schedule. Penn State in blue and white stripes looking to stay undefeated against in-state rivals. Kutztown. We're happy to have referee Jim Rogers mic'd up for this game. And you'll hear him give a few warnings such as coming up right here against Penn State's Connor Mariani for not rolling away after he's tackled the player. Now it's a tackle, release 13, get it! 13, kill the ball. KU's Andrew Stinson is going to set up this long range kick, but it drifts a little bit wide, still 0-0. Penn State gets things going in the 13th minute. Fly half, Blaze Fury, great name for a guy who can sidestep like that. And he gets caught, but another penalty, quick tap, send it out, and no problem for Sam Lapai. And Penn State leads 5-3. Tries come thick and fast after that, another tap move from Penn State. And while KU's tackling is there for the first time, flanker Kevin Kimball is just too strong out wide. Fury does the dummy and sidestep thing, and he's not fooling anyone this time, but the damage is done. Opens up a hole for Mariani to run into, and that's a nice off. 17-6, Penn State leads. Now, this is a somewhat strange play. First off, good go forward from Penn State, and then they just avoid an interception. But that player coming through for KU looks like flanker Matt Fedrick is onside and picks up the loose pass. Offloads to all-everything hooker Jamie Gregory. Heads up play from Kutztown and a nice try. Yep. More turning of the tables, ball out by Penn State, but Kutztown is there to nab the interception. Robert Stortz goes in, still a lot of work to do, but he is going to go all the way. KU up 18-17 with the conversion. Oh, good six. Second half now, and Fury still working the dummy to the left. Release! But Lapai's in there to pick and dive. It's good enough, 24-18 Penn State. KU comes back, working the weak side off the scrum. A little bit of refereeing from everyone here. That is a rough, guys. Get out of the way, guys. Get out of the way, Red. No, there was a ruck there. You guys left it. No, play on. And there'll be Jamie Gregory coming in tight for his second. And KU are within one. Penn State right back at it. That's the try line. And that's wing Ben Jansen under all that, and he'll make it 31-23. And more Penn State pressure leads to two Joe Baker penalties. And now up 37-23. This is a nice one. Mike Erickson coming in at full pace. He knows he's got support. He's caught by Gareth Lawrence, but he pops it up to Lapai, who scores his third with a little bit of panache. 44-23, Penn State leads. Cuts down, will not wilt, though, and put on the pressure. They get a penalty. Go quickly, and a pile of bodies touches it down there. 44-30. And he made it. And another penalty and another quick tap. Lots of chirping from Penn State, but Casper Heizinga scores. And just like that, it's 44-37. Kutztown has bonus points for four tries and a close loss. But that's all, as Penn State shuts it down in the final minute. An entertaining match from D1A Rugby East. Penn State 44, Kutztown 37.